Hello everybody, Goro Stern here again with another video for the Vinyl Ascendant series. Very excited to get this started you guys because since I last saw you guys, I have now reached 400 subscribers. I think the current count is 423 which is just great. I'm very thankful, very grateful to all of you that uh, have felt the need to hit the subscribe button recently. I mean that is just great. Thank you so much for that you guys. And uh, two more things. Uh, me and my girlfriend have decided to start a horror movie review channel which is just fucking amazing because I've always wanted to review movies. And what better way to do it than with your girlfriend along your side and horror movies, which is just pretty much what I mostly watch, uh, what I've been mostly watching, I mean, since the later part of my life. And it's just great. So a lot of things up in the air, a lot of great ideas rolling around. So it's pretty much just in a brainstorming process as of now. But as soon as we have a channel name or a launch date, I will let you guys know. So I hope you guys are excited about that. If that's your thing, I'm very excited about that myself. So please stay tuned for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, secondly, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Metal Viking 82 He recently gave me a great shout out on his videos, and thank you so much, Ryan. Really, really appreciate that, dude. But if you guys like uh, CD collection videos, he has way more than I do, if not more than double my videos. So if you guys love that stuff, please check out his channel. He has so much great stuff to show. So please do that. Thank you again, Ryan. Uh, really, 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 really cool guy. So yeah, let's get this started, shall we? The first one that's going to start it today is Obituaries Cause of Death. Need I say more about this? I hope I don't. One of the greatest death metal albums of all time. Uh, best song on here in my opinion, Memories Remain. I fucking love that goddamn song. Comes with a printed inner sleeve. Uh, was fortunate enough to find this at Maryland Death Fest. Was really ecstatic about that. Comes in a standard black. We got a lot of classics on this. Chopped in Half, Turn Inside Out, uh, Body Bag, Infected, Find the Arise. Just a bunch of great tracks off this death metal masterpiece it really is uh, hailing from florida of course true floridian death metal so here we go obituary cause of death excellent just excellent anyway moving on to ozzy osbourne's debut blizzard of oz classic among classics one of my favorite albums of all fucking time uh this is one of the first albums i listened to as a kid i was around 12 13 maybe no, i think i was yeah 12 um but of course being a kid i only listened to the hits you know Crazy Train and uh, only listen to Crazy Train and Suicide Solution, believe it or not. But of course, as you grow up, uh, you tend to go through the entire album. So there is way better songs than that, you guys. I mean, including Mr. Crowley, uh, Revelation, Mother Earth, um, Steal Away the Night, I Don't Know. That's yeah, the song, I Don't Know. Um, not that I don't know any songs, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but yeah. Great, great debut by Ozzy. Of course, Randy Rhodes on guitar, Need I Say Any More. Uh, but yeah, great stuff by Mr. Ozzy Osbourne, Blizzard of Oz. If you guys have not listened to this album, please do because it is just a great, great album to enjoy. Um, but anyways, I have an Ozzy Osbourne tattoo here, which I will show you guys later because I do not, I do not want to make this video as long as 33 minutes as they've all been. I mean, they, I want to keep it like at least under 25 minutes as possible, guys. So I'm not gonna uh, keep you guys here for too long. But anyway. Here we have Diary of the Madman, my favorite Ozzy Osbourne album. Uh, just the epitome of his albums. I mean, I love uh, most of his albums, uh, almost all of them, but yeah, this doesn't get better than this, really. This is the masterpiece that Ozzy released. Uh, of course, the last studio album to feature Randy Rhodes on guitar, uh, which is very unfortunate, but he left behind a lot of great riffing, a lot of great solos to enjoy. Uh, of course, we're talking about the title track, which is my favorite song off the album, Diary of a Madman. It's just a goddamn masterpiece of a song. And of course, Over the Mountain, the opener. Oh man, I remember when I first heard heard that drum fill being played through my speakers, I just instantly fell in love. I mean, um, Ozzy Osbourne has been there for many, many times in my life. So yeah, great, great album. I mean, Tonight, Sado, uh, Little Dolls, Believer, Over the Mountain, like I said, uh, Flying High Again, You Can't Kill Rock and Roll amazing goddamn songs uh with a lot of great riffing from our friend randy Rhodes. so yeah here we go and uh, here we have a studio album with jakey lee on guitar this time this is bark at the moon uh definitely my favorite song on here would be center of eternity if not rock and roll rebel love the goddamn riffing on that um on those songs here we have a printed in her sleeve with the guys there the line up there and some lyrics also comes with uh black vinyl of course cbs records um great great album by ozzy really really good of course the title track being great too uh waiting for darkness uh what else do you have slow down um uh, you're no different now you see it now you don't man i have not listened to this album in quite a while you guys i have got to change that and yeah there we go but yeah anyways very great stuff by ozzy please please listen to ozzy osbourne if you have not by any chance please please do great great stuff by that guy 
Really stoked to see Black Sabbath in September, by the way. I'm seriously going to cry when that happens, when I'm just seeing them live. And oh, I don't know. Anyways, here we have Edict of the Antichrist Elect by Perdition Temple. This is their uh, debut, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is... Uh, I was really stoked when I found this on Hell's Headbangers. You have a printed inner sleeve with the logo right there containing some Angel Corpse members. So you guys know you're getting some quality-ass death metal on this. Here we have a reddish type of vinyl here. Very, very nice and heavy re-released on oh osmos so you guys know osmos does some pretty good stuff with their records but yeah anyway very very good stuff edict of the antichrist elect by perdition temple awesome death metal very awesome to enjoy and i will now talk about their 2015 release but not too much because i want to leave uh, some comments for my uh, best albums of 2015 video so i will not talk about this one too much you guys this is the tempters victorious release on hell's headbanger records uh, this is a great, great album. Simplistic death metal, which I like, uh, or Black Death, whatever have you, but uh, great death metal to enjoy. Of course, Hell's Headbangers doing another amazing job with their releases. Here we have a poster, and I got the picture disc edition, which I do want to get the black, uh, just a standard black edition of this album, but for now, I really needed to get this because I really like that design. And of course, like I said, um, some Angel Corpse members. There we have Gene on there too, Impurath right there. A lot of great stuff by these guys, and I really like this design. I mean, just God, Hellside Bangers just does great stuff uh, with their releases. But anyway, very good stuff, very good death metal. I will talk about this uh, more, like I said in my Best of 2015 video. So stay tuned for that, you guys. It is coming. That's why I want to get these done as soon as I can because I want to get to that video as soon as possible. I already have my top three albums of the year, but I do not know how I'm gonna arrange the other ones yet. It's really, really, really hard to do, so uh, I don't know. Stay tuned for that, you guys. But anyway, here we have one of the greatest albums ever written. Of course, I'm talking about Possessed, Seven Churches. Of course, we have Mike Suss, Jeff Becerra, Mike Tarrow, just playing the fucking music for us that we all know and love. High Roller release, so you guys know this is going to be a great, great release with a lot of goodies and great, great colors. Uh, here we have the... Of course, classic album cover, Possessed Seven Churches, with a poster there. And here we have a lyric sheet. Oh, and here we have a collage of pictures. We have some lyrics right there. But yeah, like I said, Jeff Becerra's vocals on this album are just great. This would be an amazing flag, by the way. But anyway, I call this a thrash metal album. I know a lot of people call Possessed uh, death metal. And I don't argue with that. If you want to call it death metal, fine. If you want to call it thrash metal, fine. Fuck it. But anyway, like I said, High Roller Records release, so... That means a amazing vinyl pattern on uh, on this piece of wax. Just look at that. That is just amazing. This uh, record, of course, containing classes like Death Metal, Fallen Angel, Pentagram, Burning in Hell, Holy Hell. Um, just amazing goddamn songs off this album. And my favorite uh, song would definitely be Fallen Angel. Um, I remember when I first heard that slow intro with the bells and, oh, so fucking dark. And, of course, The Exorcist. Uh, Evil Warriors, God damn it, so much fucking great stuff. Of course, the uh, title track on this album, great stuff. Possess is just fucking amazing, and um, everyone should know Possess. So if you have not listened to this album, please do, and let me know what you guys think. Some classic thrash metal, but can also be coined as death metal. So if you guys listen to it, let me know what you think. Uh, so yeah, anyways, this is the ever-long argument among metalheads. It's thrash metal, it's death metal, I don't know, man. Just listen to the album, listen to the songs, and enjoy it. Uh, but uh, we all enjoy a little argument once in a while, so it's really nice to argue with some friends about this album, but, you know, I think that argument has reached its peak by now, <laughs> after years of arguing about it. But anyway, moving on to some USBM. Profanatica. Profanaditas de Demonatia, Demonatia, whatever you guys want to call it, but their debut full length, and it's just an amazing release, of course, by Hell's Headbanger Records. I got the picture, I think it was only with some pictures, actually, I don't know. But anyways, this is the edition I have. Picture disc right there, it's just awesome. And I really like how it just says liar right there. That's just fucking awesome. But anyway, you can really hear um, the, um, what was I going to say? Oh, the incantation kind of type of riffing, especially on uh, Scourging and Crowning. Oh man, that goddamn song is so good. Scourging and Crowning and then uh, Unto Us He Is Born. Uh, Master of Man Absolute, I just love that shit, I mean look at that, just look at that. Profanatica of course, just some very disgusting black metal from the US, feast upon the menstrual blood of the virgin, I mean come on, 
Come on, you guys, please. But anyway, of course, as you guys know, uh, uh, Paul Letney helped start, co-starred in Incantation. So as you guys, as I said, as you guys heard, um, a lot of great um, riffing. Can hear a little bit of Incantation there from Paul. But especially on, like I said, Scorching and Crowning, which is, I think, my favorite song out of, off of this. Another great one, Palette Savior, Profanation of the Gods, uh, Master Man Absolute, an amazing fucking opener to this album. Uh, but yeah, and To Us He Is Born is definitely my second favorite on this. Uh, but yeah, here we have the angel with the cock there. So yeah, <laughs> Pro Fanatica does some amazing job with their uh, releases. Just really chaotic black metal. Um, don't know if I could recommend it. If you're new to this, um, it's very, uh, I don't know. Well, listen to it if you guys want to, but if this is your introduction to black metal, stay away because you will not listen to black metal again. This is some very chaotic stuff uh, with some getting used to and you really need to know where these guys are coming from. So yeah, very chaotic USBM, but so dark and so fucking heavy. It is just great. I fucking love this album with simplistic drumming from John Gelso. Um, and it's just great. I love the drumming on this, the riffing, just the overall darkness of this album. Their debut, Profanatita de Demonatia. Demonatia, Demonatia, I don't know how to say it, but anyway, great, great stuff of that. Now here we have their great second debut album, uh, debut album, their great second full length album, I should say. Profanatica's Disgusting Blasphemies Against God. And this is just amazing. I mean, look at this gaze hold right here, you guys. That is amazing. Oh man, I fucking love Profanatica so much. This is even more chaotic. I mean, when you first spin this and you hear Black Cum playing, holy fucking shit. The bass on that song? God damn! Yeah, but I have not listened to this in such a long time. Um, I'm hoping to see Profanatica in Maryland Death Fest are playing the pre-fest party. Uh, so I'm hoping I can go to that. Um, also, App is going to be playing on there, so you know that's going to be good. And here we have a clear vinyl with a green little sludge thing there i know it has a specific name to this finish but um i really don't know uh <laughs> what it's called right now but yeah anyways a lot of great stuff really really love this uh suffering profile of jesus christ or buddy jesus not having a great great time there unfortunately but anyway uh yeah black Com, like i said a fucking amazing piece of fucking usbm just great uh christ precious blood poison fuck the blood of the lamb uh <laughs> if you guys listen to the song, you guys know what I mean there. Uh, covered in black shit, pious piece of shit, no trumpet shall sound. Just fucking chaotic ass USBM. Please listen to this if you guys have not. It's really enjoyable, in my opinion. Um, I got into these guys really easily. Um, I was in the need for some very, very blasphemous and just simple black metal. And this, these guys do just that. I mean, it's just great. But here we have a poster again. Hell's Headbangers, of course, never disappointing. Thank you so much again, HHR, for all the great releases you give us. But yeah, anyways, this is Disgusting Blasphemies Against God, and it's just fucking chaotic, enjoyable as all shit. So please listen to this if you have not. It is great. And here we have Thy Kingdom Come by Profanatica, their most recent full length, uh, which is just great. Um, my least favorite of the three, but still really, really fucking chaotic. If I said those two were chaotic, this one is just all over the fucking place. It really is. Uh, but yeah, I got this on this finish right here. It's just beautiful finish. And here we have, of course, oh, excuse me, another poster here, which is just awesome. I love that goddamn artwork. It is just beautifully displayed there. A lot of colors, very vibrant, very dark at the same time. And uh, here we have the angel with cock again. Very little, but they're praised on there. Here we have the gatefold, which is just fucking amazing looking right there we have john and paul <laughs> john and paul never realized that before and uh, yeah anyways that's all i have to show on this one but yeah great stuff uh denounce him false doctrina definite atonement thy kingdom come of course uh, ropes of hatred water to blood rupture holy hymen a lot of great stuff to listen to on this one you guys so please please listen to this if you have not i'm pretty sure um hell's headbanger still has some copies of it left but don't quote me on that i'm actually not sure but, but yeah pro fanatica amazing usbm some of the best in my opinion really hope to see them in may oh here we have raped gods the executioner a picture disc edition it was a uh, diehard pack um i forgot well i got it from hell's headbangers but i forgot who re released it actually uh but it came with a great great flag i don't know if you guys saw it in my room tour um it's just amazing when i saw this i freaked the fuck out i just had to have it 
And of course, um, Stress Hormones Records, they released that. So here we go, you guys. And of course, as you guys can see, it's a picture disc. So let me show you guys that. Let me show you guys the good side of it. But this is, of course, the original artwork, which is just fucking beautiful. And it's just so much detail by our friend, of course, Chris Moyen. You can easily tell um, his artwork from anybody else's right away. So yeah, under exclusive license of EMF Records. So there you go, you guys. Originally released on that. And here we have a lot of great stuff. Great, great thrash metal. Really, really is. Just fast, heavy. Um, I guess you could call it... Singer's voice always reminds me of Steve Zuza a little bit. So you can call it that. Gives you a little idea. But yeah, Devilish Aggressor, just great. Massive Destruction Attack. And a cool little instrumental, Metal Muerte Destruction. Uh, the Hell Beast, Diabolic Genocide, Stream of Death. A lot of fucking great, great thrash metal here. Uh, Rape God 666, Hailing from Mexico. So if you guys like uh, that Mexican thrash or just Mexican music in general, just great, great scene down there. Those guys are super dedicated to metal. Uh, so yeah. Okay, here we go. Un saludo a todos los de Mexico. <laughs> Rape God 666. The Executioner, amazing blasphemous thrash metal. So please listen to this if you guys have not. Uh, here we have some ooh, Swedish death metal, repugnant epitome of darkness. Fucking amazing death metal. Dark as shit, Swedish is all hell, and just dark. It's so dark, man. It fucking is. God damn it. Oh shit, let me show you this guy. Oh shit, don't wanna. Oh, okay, there we go. Soul Seller Records re released this for us. And it is just amazing death metal, enjoyable as hell. Total death metal, as you guys can see there. You can call it death thrash, you know, that's still the same. Uh, Hungry Other Damn, Premature Burial, Spawn of Pure Malevolence. Fuck that goddamn song. Sacred Blasphemy. Those two are my favorites easily. Spawn of Pure Malevolence and Sacred Blasphemy, of course, Eating from a Coffin is just great too. Really, really eye opening that song. The lyrics are just great. Uh, comes on standard black, very nice and heavy vinyl. But yeah, Repugnance, Epitome of Darkness. If you guys like Swedish death metal but are looking for that little extra strand of darkness in the music, I say Repugnant is for you. So please listen to Epitome of Darkness. Unfortunately, Repugnant's only full length release if I'm not mistaken about that. Uh, but yeah, just please listen to this. Let me know what you guys think if you have not. Very great stuff out of Sweden. Repugnant, Epitome of Darkness. And here we have one of another classic fucking album. We're hitting all the classics today. Repulsion with Horrified. God damn it, Scott Carlson's vocals on this, is they're just so gritty and just so enjoyable on this goddamn album. Horrified is just amazing fucking stuff. Um, I was lucky enough to see uh, Sadistic Intent uh, along with uh, Repulsion for Juicy Pintados. Um, it was like a memorial show, so it was really, really awesome to see that in California. Um, yeah, I was really lucky to see these guys. I mean, once I heard Slaughter the Innocent, Slaughter the Innocent, I was just... Oh my god, Slaughter of the Innocent is just an amazing song. And when I heard that fucking live, I couldn't help but just go crazy in the pit. <laughs> so yeah, it's one of the last times I ever pitted, for, but it's always been um, in my uh, bucket list to pit to Repulsion. So it happened. But yeah, Matt Olivo and Scott, of course, uh, being... if um, Actually, I don't know, so I won't say it. But yeah, anyway, uh, my friend actually saw Scott Carlson just walking around randomly. Um on the first Maryland Death Fest we saw, um, we went to, and it was just fucking crazy. I mean, Maryland Death Fest, it's just that. I mean, some artists just go just to see the bands along with us, so it's just great. But anyways, here we have the uh, vinyl, wa the wax finish, I should say. Um, looks really good. I was a little bit disappointed that it doesn't look the same um, this side, but it's still great, great release. Uh, thank you, Relapse, for not messing this one up. Ooh, no, I'm just kidding. No, but yeah, Repulsion, Horrified, Slaughter of the Innocent is just great. Uh, Splatter Cadavers, Festering uh, Boils is just great. Uh, where's my other one? favorite one? Radiation, Radiation, Radiation. Uh, radiation Sickness. God damn, that goddamn song is great. But yeah, The Stench of Burning Death opening up this song. Just an amazing piece of metal. I mean, just great death grind if you want to call it that. Straight up grindcore if you want. Repulsion, Horrified. Just listen to it, you guys. It is great, great stuff. Short songs, and as you guys know, I love when songs are pretty short. Um, when they just get to the point, uh, some songs need to be long though. I'm not saying I don't like long songs, but uh, if I had to have a preference, short songs would be the way to go, in my opinion. So, anyways, Repulsion's Horrified. Please listen to this, especially Slaughter of the Innocent. Great, great stuff to listen to. 
on a very hype day if you guys need a pick me up that album can help you Ooh, and here we have oh sorry you guys hold on someone's at the door goddamn ups okay anyway moving on to some canadian black death metal war metal whatever have you some of the best ever in my opinion and this is my favorite um off this band and this is victory intolerance mastery by revenge i took the insides out before i uh came in here and started recording you guys but yeah victory intolerance mastery comes with this great stuff here mr james reed of course being amazing and of course this contains um what's his goddamn name why is it escaping me right now um i can't think of his name right now you guys but anyway uh victory intolerance mastery of course being my favorite album of all time i mean we have some great ones i mean doom order uh hate oath oh my god just great um Iron Intolerance, god damn it, that fucking song, Iron Intolerance, I mean, indoctrination of deceit will destroy us, oh my god, just great, great stuff, off of all this, uh, Revenge really does an amazing job, if not the best war metal band out there, I mean, next to Conqueror, of course, James Red before Revenge, Conqueror has some amazing stuff, but yeah, great, great stuff, like I said, uh, Iron Intolerance is my favorite goddamn track off this album, easily, easily, that just fucking breakdown in the middle of the song is just amazing. But yeah, another just great ones. Do Mortar, hate I mean hate oath. Oh man, just great, great stuff by this uh, band out of Canada. I was fortunate enough to see Revenge twice uh, when I went to go see the Black Metal Warfare tour, uh, which is just blew my mind. Of course, along with Watain and Mayhem, that was fucking awesome. Went to New York and Boston back to back. So do want to do that again one day uh, for a band. So we shall do that again one day. But yeah, Victory Intolerance Mastery, Revenge. Some of the best war metal, back death metal, whatever you want to call it. Some of the best shit you'll ever hear. Really, really just amazing. But anyway, moving on to um, Infiltration Downfall Death. Fucking amazing release by Osmos Production. Just nice and shiny. Very, very sturdy. Very durable. You guys can hear that. Very, very awesome stuff again. Um, if you guys are new to Revenge, um, I should say uh, their stuff. Uh, doesn't really uh, differ that much. I mean, it's very kind of repetitive, but once you get used to it, once you see all past, past all the repetitiveness, uh, you guys can just really hear uh, the difference uh, in the songs. I mean, be it a drum fill, be it, you know, the guitar riffs, it's just fucking amazing. This comes in, of course, solid, white, beautiful vinyl. Uh, but yeah, this is some black death metal that not a lot of people might enjoy. So if you guys are new to Revenge, give them a try. Um, if you guys want, um, I'm pretty sure most of you out there will like it if you like uh, war metal, black death metal. Uh, but yeah, it's very chaotic, very all over the place, very primitive. So, which is the main reason why I love them. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are new to Revenge, please look those over, look those songs over, um, and see what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think because um, this is great. I really, really love this goddamn band. I mean, Blood Noose, uh, Death Heritage, uh, By Force. Oh man, Barb Anti, No Remorse fucking amazing goddamn song but yeah, anyway infiltration downfall death mr james reed on vocals of course doing all that stuff but yeah very very great stuff so if you guys want to listen to that please please do and here we have scum collapse eradication very very awesome stuff again not a gateful on this but also re-released on osmos productions uh yeah it's not a gateful just making sure about that you guys but anyways here we have a printed inner sleeve the james on there great great stuff pete hellcamp pete hellcamp also making an appearance on some of these albums Great, great guy, uh, of course, from uh, Angel Corpse uh, also. But yeah, just look at that white splatter, man. Just black splatter, I mean, with white wax. I mean, just great, great stuff. Like I said, Revenge is very primitive, you guys. So if you guys aren't really into the black death uh, genre, please, please listen to it before you guys. Uh, please listen to these guys if you guys are new to the genre. I mean, uh, if you guys want to explore, uh, just please do that actually i don't keep this in the sleeve because i just remembered it's super tight that's why i was wondering why it wasn't in the sleeve but yeah it's really really tight in there so i'd rather not put the record in there i don't want this to be damaged because i fucking love this album love this band scum collapse eradication and of course revenge's new one behold total rejection fuck that goddamn album is fucking amazing i don't know what was in the water this time but that album just blew my goddamn mind and of course i'll talk about that i do have it uh thankfully um i will not say on what format yet but i do have it on um on my shelf just ready to be uh 
talked about. So I will talk about that soon, you guys. We have the back of the uh, sleeve if I didn't show you guys. I mean, us and them, retaliation, parasitic gallows, fill solution, banner degradation. Banner degradation, holy fucking shit. But yeah, just great stuff out of these Canadian bastards. Great, great stuff. Uh, if you have a chance to see Revenge live, please do because they put on quite a show. Uh, Vermin just does a great job on guitar and vocals. Uh, James's drums are just on point. So if you guys want to listen to that, please, please do. And I think I have just two more to show you guys. So here we go. Oh, uh, here we have. Oh God, I can't get this out. Oh, okay. Ah, here we have. Okay. Anyway, here we have the Black Witchery and Revenge Split. Uh, came with that flag that I showed in my room tour. Uh, fucking great, great stuff from both bands. Black Witchery does an amazing job. Oh, and Revenge, of course, does too. Um, when I heard of that happening, I was like, holy fuck, a split with Black Witchery and Revenge? What? But anyway, uh, solid white vinyl. Very, very great stuff. Humanity Noosed. And con uh, here we have Equiman Thorn, which is just a great fucking cover. It really is. And here we have Black Death Conjuration, Curse of Malignancy, Profanation Triumph on Black Witch Tree's side and just a great great release great split by this band if you guys have not uh, ordered it don't have it in your collection I recommend you do if you like these guys uh, very well worth the money um, released on Nuclear War Now so those guys always do a great job with their releases too so yeah here we go going back in there yeah anyway great great stuff by these guys and yeah like I said Revenge is new one we hold total rejection holy fucking shit it really you guys seriously but anyways, great split by these guys. Moving on to the last record of the day. And here we have Rotting Christ's classic Thy Metal Contract. And of course, I missed out on seeing Rotting Christ in my hometown. Uh, but I will see him again. I know I have a feeling I will. So here we have a little uh, sheet here. Some liner notes and stuff. Here we have a gatefold. Uh, this is just some amazing fucking black metal from Greece, you guys. It really, really is. I mean, the sign of evil existence transform all suffering into plagues. Uh, here we have the fourth revelation, the fourth night of revelation, uh, live of course. Uh, Figment by gift. Uh, wait, where is it? Uh, Dive the deepest abyss. That one's just great, you guys. But yeah, anyways, Rotting Christ plays some amazing black metal, hailing from Greece. Fortunately, did not get a chance to see them, but hey, I will see them again. Well, one day, and I can't say again, unfortunately. But yeah, great, great stuff. Rotting Christ plays some great, great black metal. This is some of their very early stuff, Thy Mighty Contract. Very, very dark, very easy to enjoy. And that album artwork is just amazing in my opinion. Uh, here we go. Get back in there. But yeah, anyways, we're done you guys. Thy Mighty Contract was the last one of this one. So anyways, thank you so much for sticking with me up to going on 28 minutes now. Uh, this will be uploaded as soon as I finish. And thank you so much for you guys who have subscribed lately. It really does mean a lot to me. And again, I will let you guys know when we get started on that uh, horror re horror movie review channel. Uh, and again, a shout out to Metal Viking 82 We'll leave the link in the description for his channel. Thank you so much again, you guys. Seriously, it means a lot that you guys keep coming back, uh, keep commenting on this, and keep liking it. And I will see you guys soon. So this is Gore Stern signing off. And the 2015, best of 2015 video will be coming out soon. Cannot wait to show you guys my opinions. And see what you guys think about them. So anyways, thank you so much you guys. Goro Stern signing off. Have a good one.